Hello everybody, so much suit or Zappy here with Attack on Titan. We're on episode 7, and it's fucking, it's Revelation Galore right now. It's fucking Revelation Central, one-way ticket, um, and, you know, we're just getting everything. So, in the last episode, uh, yeah, we got the confirmation that it was actually uh, Grisha, his dad, that Eren ate to get his powers. I figured that, like, you know, it just kind of, it was the only thing that made sense to me at the time, like, you know, with the Revelate, like, with the... When we had the whole backstory with the mayor, and um, it was you, you could tell clearly it was injected via a um, uh, a syringe, um, and then obviously the whole flashbacks that Aaron had beforehand with his dad doing it to him. I figured, you know, what I mean, he immediately turned into a titan. Who's who's who is he going to eat? Um, and obviously, you know, we knew from season two that if titans eat. Um, uh, eat a human that has the like ha has titan abilities then they gain those abilities so it kind of all just made sense in my head that if grisha was the one that injected eren he would be right there in fucking danger's way grisha obviously knew the you know that he, he obviously knew what he was getting into he was obviously sacrificing himself um you know what i mean for his son um but yeah we've got that we've got that confirmation um, according to Rod, uh, Grisha is the one that killed pretty much his, like, his entire family, um, in order to get the power that, uh, Frida had, um, which I thought was only originally was just, a, like, just to alter memories and stuff. People have been telling me that actually it, Frida's power is actually the coordinate power, um, so I'm so I'm trying to think then what is what power was it that Grisha had then? Because all of the all of the Titans that are um that are human Titan like hybrids and whatnot all have like certain like different like powers, right? Um So what what was Grisha's then? If um if because I mean people were saying like saying that Frida is the one that has the coordinate. Um, which means that she, ha so that one power not only allows them to alter memories, but also to, to, to command Titans to do whatever they want. I mean, it's no wonder they call it like the most fucking, <laughs> like the, 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 like the most OP power or like the greatest power. I'm just wondering what, what Grisha's was. Um, I don't know. I really don't know, but um, we had obviously uh, Rod and Historia trigger sort of um, Eren's memories within. So Eren obviously knows what's happened now. Um, I'm sure we'll get like sort of aftermath of that, like when we get to a point after this whole battle that's going to take place, so he actually has time to think um, <clears throat> and like sort of take it all in. Um, but uh, by doing so, it's actually sort of. Backfire is not the word, but Historia now has memories of her past in which Frida obviously, um, you know, made Historia forget all the times that she was with her. Um, sort of like keep her in the dark of what all the shit shit is. Um, obviously, Frida was doing to protect Krista and whatnot, or Historia. Um, but she remembers that now. Uh, Frida's obviously, yeah, obviously dead because Grisha ate her. Um, but yeah, the, the, the thing is with... I'm sort of in two minds. I'm inclined to almost agree with Rod, but I don't know. There's something really so fucking fishy about it. Like the fact that Rod was the only one left alive out of his entire family. So like either he's either he's lying about the story that happened or he uh, or he, he just decided to run away from his family. Uh, or both, uh, you know what I mean. So, like, either way, I don't see Rod in a fucking good light anyway. Um, especially with the fact that obviously he's, he's like in, like he's obviously in cahoots with Kenny and whatever the fuck he's doing. Obviously, Kenny isn't a fucking great. He isn't he isn't a great dude, is he? But yeah. Um, what else we got? What else we got? Yeah, and we got the revelations of the sort of Ackerman and like the kind of the family surrounding the royal family and like how they can 
um, how they almost have powers of their own. It's not Titan related. It's more kind of uh, more kind of superhuman type shit. Um, so obviously, the Ackermans and the Orientals um, can't be affected by the the alter, the altering of the memory. Um, and that the Ackermans have some sort of like adrenaline boost kind of fucking strength thing going on where um where they can just they can sort of just become stronger i guess which is uh, the same thing as uh obviously the what the first thing the first time we saw it was uh mikasa's backstory um when Eren was getting choked by one of the like the rapist murderer fucking people and uh mikasa grabbed the knife and fucking like i don't know she, she was standing still she managed to break a floorboard you know um but yeah, it's it, it is a similar thing to Titans to the Titans power. I did say last episode that like I remember watching it and thinking, wait a minute, why why is the visuals like that for her? There's got to be something with that. But then people like were just saying, oh, it's just a it's just a visual cue. Don't worry about it. Um, and from my memory, I only remember it being like yellow and something. I think it was, I think it was actually green and red. The uh, the color palette for. The Ackerman's power thingy um, with her, whereas for Titans it's like yellow and green in it. So, yeah, there, there was a there was a slight difference, but I, obviously I couldn't remember because it was it was quite a while ago. But yeah, but it, 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 that's a good thing about like you know me Attack on Titan is you get these revelations so far like in like you know so far along that when you go back to like episode seven or whatever the fuck it was in season one and you're getting like those little oh that's the reason why she's like that and that's the reason why that happened and shit. So I love all of that stuff. Um, so yeah, Levi Squad are about to fucking bust into this this cave of uh, this lumin luminescent ore, or whatever the fuck it's called, cave, where Eren's tied up. Kenny and his crew are waiting for him because then, like, basically both crews know that like as soon as as soon as they go through, it's going to be a fight, and I'm fucking I'm scared because because. Uh, the fucking everyone in like everyone in Levi's squad is like a character that's at the forefront and a character that we've been with for fucking a long time. Um, so I know Irwin's on his way, right? So I'm hoping they can hold out and just not die, please. Fucking <laughs> fuck's sake, it's kicking off. But yeah, I don't think there's anything else to really talk about. I've talked long enough. We're just gonna get in episode seven and see. See what happens. So let's go. Wish. Yoyaku Daremo in a Kunatta Yoda. Okashina Hanashini Chikoiru Daroga. Frida, mother Shinde Inainda. This is just talking about the power, has that it? Frida no Kyoku, mother Ichtir. Omaeva Nesani Aitaika. It's gonna do it by fucking injecting. Yep, 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 yep. This isn't good. No, this isn't good. No, for fuck's sake! This is not good! Because if she gets injected with it, she becomes a titan. If she doesn't... If Eren doesn't get eaten, which I'm pretty sure he won't, then that means... Fucking Historia is stuck as a titan. Just diversions. Set them on fire. Oh shit! Explosive barrels. Nice. Oh shit, this is about to get fucking nuts right now. Oh shit. Oh my god, how am I gonna do this? It's not like they have guns. They just have fucking. <laughs> Go on, Jean. Jean! Ah. Ah, interesting. Okay. Nice. So as long as you're behind them, you're alright. Oh, shit, Jeep! Oh! <laughs> fucking hell! Connie! Oh, nice! Right in the fucking heart! Sasha! Stop the reload and stuff. We can't do anything. Oh, shit. Yeah. Oh. oh my god, it's a bastard! 
<laughs> Levi! Mm. Fuck, Kenny! Oh, shit! If that pillar wasn't there. Oh. Nina? What does that mean? <laughs> Oh my god, I'm expecting some mad shit here. Yeah. Oh. Got none left. Oh. oh my god, it's not like a pure fucking rapture. God, it reminds me of like new metal stuff. Fucking hell. Fucking hell, he got him. Nicked him. More oil. Boom! <laughs> oh, look at this through the fire! Levi! Oh, <laughs> oh man! On the retreat, are you? She's alright, she's alright, she's not dead, she's not dead. Right, she's not dead. Fucking hell, man. Oh. <sighs> Fucking hell, man. It is believed to be spinal fluid. Taking. Think about it! あるべき場所へ帰るだろう。ヒストリア。お前の中へとな。この洞窟は今から約 いくつかの血族を除いてだが、その末裔も他の人類も100年前の世界の歴史を誰も覚えていない。フリーダが持っていたものは巨人の力だけではない。この世界の成り立ちとその経緯の全てを知っていたのだ。フリーダはその巨人
他の生きがいを探して長生きしろ。ケニー、何を言うのケニー、何を言うのケニー、何を言うのケニー、何を言うのケニー、何を言うのケニー、何を言うのよいどんでだ。お互いが巨人になってくる。ああ、いつもあなたファイト。ああ、おまえ、ガーディアン。ファーケーナウ。ヒストリアン。この中二なら、強力な巨人になれる。セクシー液を体内に入れればよいのだい。そう、そう、そう、スパイナルフローだ。なんでよ、エレン。なんで巨人化しないの。プリズムはファイト、オブスリー。私が巨人になれば。食べられるんだよ。いらなかったんだよ。親父が五年前に。ここでこんなことをしなければ。お前の姉ちゃんが。すべて何とかしてくれるはずだったんだろう。だい、どれだけ人が死んだ。あれみんなじいちゃん。トーマス。ナック。ミーナ。ミリエス。いや、まだ。リバイハンのみんな。That has to be this。ハンネスさ。Yeah, but Grisha's clearly doing this for a reason. It's not like he's just doing this out of fucking. There has to be something, man. She can't do it now, come on. Let's put it this way if she becomes a Titan, then that's it. That one, of the, one of them stuck. Like, one of them's either dead or one of them stuck as a Titan. Then, I don't know. 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 世界の記憶を見たものにしか私もかつて弟と共に人類を巨人から解放することを願い何度も父に訴えたしかしそれが叶うことはなかった私は巨人の力を受け継いだ弟の目を見てその意味を理解した自然の王にして唯一の存在へと弟はなったのだ神だ我々はそれを神と呼ぶ、right. お前の生き方に口出しする権利は私にはないお前胸張って生きろよ Yes! Thank fuck! Oh! <laughs> <laughs> no, he's dead! Can I trade it? Fucking finally! Aaron, man! For fuck's sake! <laughs> <laughs> Fucking hell! Does the art work as well? You can, in you can ingest it? Holy fuck. What the hell? So, okay. Okay, episode 7. Let's get this off. It's fucking. Whew. Whew, it's warm. Alright. Good. I'm, I'm glad fucking. I'm glad. I'm glad Historia fucking figured it out at the end. Because. Because I, I was say Was it. Did I say last episode? I think I was talking about her. Like, I hope she's not going to do this thing where, like, she's going to get end up getting manipulated by Rod. And then for that reason, right, she's going to start, like, maybe hating Aaron or whatever, right? And I was like, for fuck's sake, why does she have to be so naive, man? Fucking hell. It's like the one. It's like the one thing that really pisses me off is when. Is when people are just so fucking just idiotic and they don't they don't they don't sit down and just look at the situation and think about it rationally and logically and they just fucking they just they just don't they don't think you know what I mean 
So yeah, midway through there, I was having a go at fucking. I was having a go at Historia because I was like, no, I don't want this to. Ha- I don't want this to be the case. I don't want it to be the case. It's so. It's just annoying. Um. But, yeah. All right. So from the very top, um. They said that there was obviously a disadvantage with them using guns and stuff. I, I, I was basically saying, oh shit, what are they gonna do? Because it's basically. They've got guns and Levi Squad and all that has just got fucking has just got blades and that, blades and that's what they've got. So, um, but obviously they had a plan, um, sending down barrels filled with fucking like filled with like fuel and stuff and uh, setting it off. Obviously with fucking Sasha's impeccable aim <laughs> with a fucking arrow, uh, setting them off, um, causing essentially like a, a smoke screen um, and all of that, and obviously using their. Uh, their uh, fucking signal flares and stuff like that as well for um, for cover, which I really liked. Um, I didn't think it'd be so good. Just just like having just human on human battles. Like it it's 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 just it's so good because it's a different type of fight. You know what I mean? When when you're against titans, you know what I mean. The the obvious the obvious the thrilling part of it is the fact that the titans are so big and like so fucking. You know what I mean? Like like so scary. So like just like it's like ridiculous odds against a titan right and that's what the, that's what the, the like the the intrigue and, and how exciting it is watching a, a human on titan fight but when you've got humans on and humans and they've all got this like odm gear and they're fucking you know what i mean they're, they're doing these ridiculous maneuvers and shit and it, it's really fucking it's really fun to watch and it's like it's very it's fresh it's fresh for the show so i, I really like it um you know what I mean? Like watching like Gene just fucking decapitate somebody. Like, oh man, it's just so. I don't know. What, it's so fucking. It's just so satisf- satisfying to watch him do that. You know what I mean? And they're, they're all they're all in it now. They're all they're just like fuck these fuck these guys. You know what I mean? They're fucking. They're on the wrong side. Fuck them. Um, so yeah, it was really cool. So the liquid is. Oh, that's a good point. I need to go back and um find. The uh, I thought they fucking changed the bloody I thought they changed the the media player for Crunchyroll, but now it's back to this one again, as well. Which I don't know why. It was just for one episode that had like a different media player, which is so much better. They might have just been previewing it, possibly. Um, You, like you know what I mean you, to use later but honestly the, the crunchy roll like play out that they've got is just it's not good it's not good enough where the fuck is the fucking midway point for this I may have gone past it I think it was an early one right yeah I think it was I think it was quite early <sighs> Okay. A device Rod uh, Rod Race wants Historia Race to use and transform into a Titan is believed that used to use spinal fluid and by ejecting the transformation serum one has granted the inherent abilities of a Titan. Great. I'm glad I fucking spent like so long looking for that shit. <laughs> fucking Christ. There was I because all I got was fucking up to spinal fluid, which was the the only notable information from that. So yeah, it, all right, so it's it's spinal fluid then. Um, that's sort of the main ingredient. I mean, I mean, it makes sense then the why, the fucking why the the sort of uh, the host is is in the in the neck, um, sort of at the top of the spine area on the nape here, um, and whatnot. Well, I was looking through. One of the things I did actually didn't I didn't write down was the fact that Hanji is is fucking. She's, I mean, she's alive. 
She's not dead from that. I'm, I'm positive. She's, she's not dead from that. Um, but she's probably in a very bad way. I think she got hit in the in like the, the shoulder area. I think more. I think the fucking the the fact that she like straight up hit a pillar and then dropped probably is probably the worst thing about it. Um, but I, I, she's probably not in a great way. But she's not dead. Um. But yeah, so one titan made that cavern and one titan made the walls. So obviously the fact that, all right, so that that's, yeah, even if I hadn't have read like the comments saying um, that Frida had that, like that was the coordinate power, that would have, I, I would have got it from that. Uh, the fact that, you know, that that, that titan made the walls. Because obviously there's titans in the walls, right? However, then they're all like just they're all just regular titans that there's nothing like special about them what would have happened was the person whoever had that power at, at like around that time would have just ordered them to stand around and then he would have created the wall around them um i believe that's what it must be right the funny thing is is that like like what I want to know what it is. Is, is that the crystallization, like, like the ca the cavern that they're in, where it's all like fucking, you know what I mean? It all looks like crystal. Is that like that's what he made, right? But why why is it that the walls then look like walls? That's what I don't get. How do you like? How does a titan distinguish what like? what they are making like what it looks like because i figure that the crystallization thing that's how it looks like inside that cavern that's what it looks like it looks like crystal that's the that's the material that they sort of um they secrete out of themselves because annie annie did it um i don't think i, I don't i don't know i don't think erin did it but clearly whoever did it like before Whoever did this cave beforehand also did that as well. So, I don't know then. Or, no, because the female titan's um, power is the fact that she can draw titans towards her, though. Right? I was wondering, because apparently the, the, the name of this titan is the Founding Titan. I'm, I'm not sure if I catch the... Uh, the dialogue right but i think they said something about um but i think this was no i think this was like uh descendants from like the people not dead descendants from the titans but the thing is if it's a founding titan where does the rest of the like is it that 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 founding titan had fucking everything and then the powers sort of like split off somehow how would have that happened though how would that work you see that's the that's the problem is that in order for you to get a power you have to eat that one person, right? In order to get their power. So, like, as a titan. So, I, I, I don't know. I, I don't. I feel like I've never talked about this, but, like, what if there was two titans and one of them met one half and one of them met the other half of you? Would that... I don't know. Would that split the powers? Because I'm thinking if there's, like... If, if this came from what... Like, if... The whole, like all these powers came from one titan. If that's what they mean by like it's the founding, the founding titan, or they just call it the founding titan because it founded this this fucking civilization that we're in now, where the walls are and stuff. And it's not mean it doesn't it doesn't mean the founding titan because it had all these powers and then all of them just split off. I don't know. Anyway, Kenny was uh, looking to take the power for himself because he wanted to become king. I guess that he, he was hoping that by having this power, that means that you are sort of like, that's your kind of key to the throne, I guess. So Kenny wasn't really looking to become a titan or like, you know, have that power 
for himself. He was more looking to get a hold of, like, you know, being being royalty essentially. Um, and obviously, when that went, like, you know, what I mean, went to hell. I'm surprised Kenny Kenny just didn't straight up kill Rod. Um, you know, because I, because I, I mean, what? Because isn't that isn't that what Kenny's like? Because think about it, right? After everything that he did there, when he was holding them up, he was holding the gun to his head and everything like that. Even Rod said, right, that's it, you're just missed from my fucking, I don't know, you, you know what I mean, you have nothing else to do with me, go live your life, whatever the fuck. Like, what was Kenny sort of thinking there? Like, why wouldn't he kill him? Because even if it was like, oh no, but I've, at least, you know what I mean, if Rod's alive, then I've still got, like, access to the throne. But you're not, though, because he just dismissed you. So, I'm surprised he didn't just straight up kill him and just be like, oh, fuck it, I don't care. Um... Uh, but I, I'm I'm wondering if Kenny just has this sort of like maybe more playful mentality where he's just like he's wanting to fucking he's just wanting to have a like like a good time and see how things go and kind of stuff, which is why obviously he's what he was wanting Aaron and Historia to kind of fight it out. I mean, come on, I mean, if if it was just a straight up fight, Aaron would win that because Historia would just be a regular Titan, um, and Rod's gonna be just a regular one, right? So, although it is spinal fluid from the race family, right? So does that inherently make it like... More powerful, I guess? Is the spinal fluid in particular, like, does it have to be from... It, it, it has to be from, like, a specific, um... It has to be from, like, a human trans transformed titan, right? I don't think it can be just... It can just be from any regular titan. Yeah, I don't know, but but Rod's fucking Rod's Titan's sort of weird right now. Like I, I like the idea that the fact that it's like spinal fluid and the fact that his Titan just looks like a massive fucking spine with a torso on the end of it. Um, like a fucking I don't know, like a snake Titan kind of kind of fucking deal got going on here. Um, it, I mean I don't know how how the fuck he's that size. I have no idea. He's fucking huge. Um. I mean, depending on what he does, you know what I can see happening? I can see a fucking, like, I can see this whole cave just fucking, just caving in on itself. Which is not fucking good. Because, isn't that what the whole thing that we're trying to do, like, in, like, season one, is, like, get fucking, uh, get, like, I'll keep Eren underground, because at least then he's, like, you'd he, be stuck inside the fucking, in, inside the, the earth, and he, he'll not be able to get out. So that, that could be fucking bad. Um, but I can, I can just see a fucking cave in happening. I can just see it happening. Um... I guess it's gonna to have to come to Eren versus Rod's Titan, which again, like, you know, Titans are nothing compared to human Titans. Like, you know what I mean? Like, a fucking one on one, a, a human transformed Titan is gonna have like every advantage. Um, and with Eren now like free, I think he's free, right? Did you did you take did did uh, Historia manage to take away his like unlock his hand shackles and stuff? I know she got everything um, right around the waist and whatnot, but I'm not sure if, if she, I'm, I'm having a look because the fact that Rod just straight up like just licked it and immediately turned into a Titan, like, that's not a lot, is it? That's not a lot. No, so Eren is still is still propped up, like he's still fucking got his hands. Okay, well, the question is then, can can Historia put like <laughs> pull that off? I mean, I guess if Eren was to just turn Titan there, it wouldn't matter, would it? Like he would just like he, it would just break him up with those chains, right? If he was just to turn Titan there, he's already got an injury, right? So, he doesn't have to worry about getting injured again. 
And now he just needs to have a purpose. Well, the purpose is to fucking save fucking himself and Historia's life. That's such a weird fucking titan, though. The fact that... It, I just find it funny that it's spinal fluid and, and he's just got a massive fucking spine. I wonder what he's going to look like when he uh, when he gets his skin and shit on. Uh, so, yeah. I think... Is there anything else to really talk about? I feel like there was something else, you know. I can't remember. Can't fucking remember. Nah, I think I'm fucking I think I'm stuck. I was gonna say something. I was. I knew I was, but I can't fucking remember it. Nah, I don't know. But anyway, yeah, I think. I don't know where, like, what point we're kind of at with Kenny. Because I, I, do, I don't know what he's... If that was his whole sort of plan, right? That, that that was the reason why he was... He was doing the things he was doing. Was because he was hoping that, you know what I mean? He was talked to... He was, you know, he's told about this ritual and the fact. He knew he wasn't lying about it. So he was hoping that when it got to this point, Kenny could just inject himself with it. Eat Eren, whatever the fuck. He gains that power, and then therefore he gets the throne out or something like that. That's what he thought. But now that he doesn't have that, what's he got? Like, I don't know what else he's got. <laughs> I guess after that, he just went, oh, fuck it, I don't give a fuck. Just, yeah, just I, I just, I might as well just say something entertaining at least. So he just fucking, yeah, I don't know. I don't know what he was expecting to do by just getting rid of fucking Eren's bloody, like, mouth fucking thingy, though. I mean... <laughs> I don't know what that means. <laughs> um, just so that he could... I don't know. No, it doesn't, it doesn't make sense, because it... I feel like, even if he's chained up... If he was to turn into a Titan, those chains would not matter. It doesn't matter how much he's chained up, right? All he needs is an injury and a goal. Something, some some reason to transform. Which he would have both of, even if he was chained up. So, you know, it's, it's just, yeah, it's, it's strange. I'm trying to fucking, I'm trying to think about what it was I was going to say, and I just can't fucking, I can't think. I just... Bollocks. Hate it. Hate it. Um... Yeah, it's not coming to me. It's not coming to me. You know what'll happen is I'll fucking end this episode and then I'll and I'll fucking remember it and I'll, I'll I'll be pissed off. But yeah. Okay, yeah. So that is all. So in the description below, I have a bunch of different links to different things. One of them is the Discord. I urge everyone to go over there, especially if you want me to react to a show. Um, you know, because things like polls and things like that for like future shows, that is where they all start on Discord. So yeah, get your sword over there if uh, if you want that, or if you just want to come talk to me in the community, then you can uh, you can join in as well. Uh, my PO box address is in the description below, uh, down there as well. So if you do want to send me anything at all, you can do. Uh, I'll open it up on on, uh, on video. It'll be a nice little addition to the video. Uh, and finally, Patreon. That's the big one. Obviously, uh, we've got five dollars early access, which uh, gives you access to videos a week early, uh, and also you get two extra videos per show every single week, as opposed to the general public, who get two videos of every show, uh, two videos of every show every week. Um, but if you are a five dollar patron for early access, then you actually get four across every single show. Um, so as of right now, obviously Steins Gate and High are finished. So now you will get um, you will get Psycho Pass four videos every week. Uh, Suzumiya Haruhi, you'll get four videos every week of that as well. Uh, Code Gas and Tokyo Ghoul four videos for each of those as well. That's sixteen across the week. That's sixty four across the entire month, as opposed to the. 32 that the general public gets, so it's very good value for money if you're clamoring for more reactions from me, so that's the place to go. $10 a month, uh, that's full length, so if you want to watch my full unedited uh, reactions, uh, as long as you have your own reference footage and you can play them both at the same time and watch and uh, yeah, get my full reaction. Uh, $15 a month, that is the exclusive tier patron, that means you get access to uh, another show that I'm currently doing, which is Parasite, um, and also all OVAs across all shows will go into there as well. So if you're wanting to watch any, like, may react to any OVAs or Parasite, then uh, that's a place to go. 
$50 a month. That is elite tier. What that gives you is a choice of a show that you want me to react to, and I will react to it. It will go to the back of the queue. I think there's about seven shows in there right now, so I will get round to it eventually, um, but it might take a while. If you want to jump the queue, though, then you want to get the god tier, which is $100 a month, and that will put your show at the front of the queue, meaning that I will react to that next. Um, the only rules on that, those last two uh, tiers are that the show must be 150 episodes or less, and obviously, I, that, as long as I haven't watched the show. Um, so other than that, you know what I mean, free to give me what, like, whatever show you want. Um, and also, for both of those tiers, it's accumulative. So if you pay $100 for God tier for the first month, you get a choice of a show. Uh, the second month comes along, if you pay $100 again, then you get a, another choice of a show, and that goes for every single month, you know, in concurrent. So, uh, yeah, and that goes for Elite as well. So yeah, that is it. That is all. Still can't remember what the hell I was going to say before, but fucking... Oh, I hate, I hate fucking memory sometimes. Anyway, yeah, so that is all. So thank you everyone for watching. I'll see you all next time. Bye-bye.